ready? I'm about to mind fuck you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Jula going in. Meal two going down. Almond butter and chicken breast. I'll probably take a nap after this. All right, guys, just woke up from the nap. Got chicken and peanut butter here. I already started eating this. And over here in the microwave, we got the broccoli that we're gonna get out soon. Class at two, and then I'll get that pre-workout meal in. In the meantime, watch some YouTubes, probably. Let's see what we got, we got Animal, a new video. My boy Josh. Jonathan A. Rosari, he's the man. Kendall, that's what's up. Eat bigger, stay small. We'll have to pick. Broccoli right here, guys. It just looks a little weird because I had to re-microwave it to heat it up, but I got the ketchup on it. Pro tip, again, this water might look weird, right? I put Mio drops in it. Let me see if I have them around here. I might have them. These things right here. It just gives it like a nice flavor. So I actually overdid it a little bit. You don't need that much, but for a gallon, you need a little more. Just in general, I mean, if you're drinking a gallon a day, it can get hard to get down. So adding something like this, and honestly, if I want to tell you something better to add, it's the Powerade Zero Drops. They're even better. Uh, I highly suggest it. It does make it pretty, pretty enjoyable to drink water. As you see, I'm pretty much halfway through, maybe a little bit more by now. So that's it. Sun though. All right, guys, just got back from the post office where I picked up my student ID card that my dad had to mail to me because I forgot it at my house. Also, threw in some protein bars. Mission One. At first, I didn't like them, guys, but some flavors are actually pretty solid. So they are, they are, they are good, and I'm pretty sure they're less money than Quest bars. <clears throat> and they're pretty much the same thing, so I, I suggest checking them out. We have cookie dough, uh, cookies and cream here, another cookies and cream, cookies and cream again, another cookie dough, and the other flavor we have is this uh, chocolate brownie. And the macros are pretty standard, 20 protein, uh, just like a Quest bar. You're looking at 24 carb, 20 fiber, 6 fat. So that's actually lower fat than a lot of Quest bars. This one's only got seven fat, and the cookie dough's only got, well, I dropped it, but the cookie dough's only got eight fat. So if you realize, pick this up, <clears throat> Quest sort of upped their fat a little bit on some of the bars. So these are actually more macro friendly. I would suggest checking them out for sure. And we got a Reese's Fast Break and a Reese's Nut Rages bar. Damn. We're making another video, okay? A couple topics I want to talk about because I'm... Guys, check out Jeff Wright <clears throat> if you're unaware. He, uh, he puts out some solid videos. Good info, and at the same time, he's entertaining. So, you know, he's simultaneously being funny, being real energetic, positive, whatnot. But he puts out solid info. Like, real, it just spits it how it is, you know, like real talk. So, check out Jeff Wright for sure. All right, guys, pre-workout meal. First, of course, the water. Four rice cakes, two scoops of Dimatize ISO 100. This is the way right here. Uh, gourmet chocolate. Three packets of oatmeal, maple brown sugar. So this will be a nice little carb meal, protein meal, before I hit a pole day. So stay tuned for that. What is going on, guys? It's currently Thursday, 6.40 p.m., precisely and I'm bringing you this voiceover from yesterday Wednesday March 2nd which was a push day so you heard that correctly I'm back on push pull legs at least for this week and I plan to do it for a little while I plan to basically just keep my traditional six days on one day off type of split where I hit every muscle group twice a week and have one off day because that you know training without an off day really does kill me I know a lot of people like it but personally I need my off day so that's just how I like to train. I'll let you guys know if it changes up soon, but the main focus here is progression. And as you see, 225, this is not progression for me. This is what we call regression. I only got it for nine reps, and then I only got it for eight reps. And I know why that is. I know I overtrained. I know I slightly overdieted on some days. 
and then I took a little diet break on my last chest day for a few days and you know that really didn't help as much as I thought it did so what I'm basically doing I'm bringing the calories back up I'm eating a lot of good clean meals now I'm getting more more carbs keeping the food you know clean but I basically get a lot of meals a day I get like six to eight and uh, you know sweet potato white potato chicken breast vegetables rice that's just how I like to eat guys it f fuels my energy and uh, that's basically what I'm doing I'm eating probably over maintenance and I want to get my bench strength back and I definitely still feel like I'm the same leanness I was at at the 174 ish but I'm probably inching closer to 180 I might even be over it by now so I guess by like hanging around 180 at this point I got some fullness back even though in this video I do look pretty flat because I am and uh, but today on Thursday I can definitely tell I got a little fullness back and uh, yeah so so like basically the last time I was at 180 I wasn't nearly this lean I was definitely a little fluffier not saying I'm lean at all by the way guys this is not lean for me this is actually generally not lean at all for me but uh, yeah as far as like my body weight where I stand I feel fine with it because to be honest with you being at 174 like I could have easily I, I can push to 170 and I'm not saying I'm not saying I won't but I'm not sure if it's really useful at this point I really don't know how useful it is for my long-term physique plan because you guys know that I don't plan to compete for a while so it's almost like holding my body weight where it is which is not really a fat standpoint you know I still have some visible abs and stuff it's almost like I'll grow into the body more and like I'll, I'll just develop more. I'll be able to progress more. So I'm just going to see where this mini like sort of diet break sort of thing ends. I wouldn't even call it a diet break because I'm still on like a rigid structure. I, I really do prioritize um, my adherence to timing and frequency. And I know a lot of people will negate that. And I, I'm not going to like be rude or anything, but I really don't care if you have a problem with it. Just please like don't tell me. Oh, like, please do if, if it fits your macros instead. Because, guys, trust me, like, I've been there. I've been there before. I've been lifting for a long-ass time, and I'm only 19. I've done all that shit. I've already done it, and I and I know all the differences. And I know I know it works. I know it doesn't work. And I know it works for me. So I don't need to, I don't need to be, like, coached on a diet. It's all good. But, like, this is just what I'm doing right now. And it seems to be going really well. So, yeah, a little flat in this video, as I stated. But today, after I ate a decent amount this day, I had, like, a good amount of meals, I think eight, eight plus, plus some snacks and protein bars that my dad sent me. And I was able to uh, fill out a little bit today. I looked good in the gym. I looked a lot better and I performed better. But let me tell you one thing from this chest day, my chest was just cashed. I'm telling you 10 out of 10 soreness is not something I really achieve anymore because my muscles are, I'd say used to training, obviously. <laughs> But I got beginner soreness from that chest workout, and I, I know it's because I neglected my bench, and then I did extra volume after it, afterward. So we're going to get the bench back up pretty high, guys. 225 for 9. It won't stay there. It's going to 15 plus like before. My highest is 225 for 15, 300 by 1. I want 315 for reps. And uh, I want to stay like I want to stay around like where I am like 13, 14 percent. I don't really want to get above 15 percent, guys. Being honest with you, it's just not my not my style anymore. But uh, I don't want to get I don't want to push myself to like under 170 and like you know get smaller and push my body to a point where it doesn't need to be because I'm not competing. If you know what I mean. So I'll, I'll kind of keep you updated on like that sort of a thing. And uh, we'll get into it, and uh, I'm really pumped for uh, future changes. So stay tuned, guys. Big things to come, trust me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Insta. Until then, peace. Check it out, guys. Found a guy around my uh, school that delivers food. He has a deli. He does baked chicken breast with me and potatoes baked with just a dab of olive oil. Perfect. I got white potatoes also and veg Sorry, I got cut off. I got white potatoes also and veggies. Win.